Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I've seen a comment on one of my videos and the user was having an issue with weight painting and fur particles. So I thought this might be a good time to revisit the video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly drop down a round cube. Now you can find this in the extra objects inside of the preferences. And the reason I do this is it has a capsule and it makes it nice and quick to be honest. Uh, I'll quickly tab into edit mode and I'll give it a couple of loops just so I've got a little bit more geometry to work with now while I'm inside of edit mode I'm going to select the polygons that I want to weight paint so I'll just go into wireframe and I'll just select these top polygons yeah that'll do that's perfect and then I'll go into weight paint now like I says I just want to paint on these polygons I don't want to paint on the whole model so if you actually go to the paint mask you can see here these polygons are now selected and I can quickly paint this in now the best way, or the fastest way that I find, is just grabbing the gradient tool and doing this. So now I have a nice weight paint, let's quickly jump back into solid mode. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the object data properties, or the vertex groups, and I'm going to call this weight. And it just keeps things nice and tidy, organised. I'll then go into the particle system, I'll add in a particle system, and I'll add in here. And as usual, the length is way too big. So if I want to apply particles or hair to a certain weight, what I can do is I can go down to the vertex groups, I can go to density, and you can see here we now have a vertex group or the weight paint. So anywhere that was selected with red or a value of 1, we now have fur. Perfect. Seems to be working pretty good to be honest. Now I think the user might have been having an issue with maybe having multiple weight maps. So what we can do here is we can add in another weight map, we can go to the vertex group, hit plus, and I'll call this weight to and I'll quickly just jump back into weight paint mode and I'll take off the paint mask so we can paint anywhere and I'll just use the brush and we have a weight of one yeah, let's just do something like this oh this is going to look bad <laughs> anyway let's continue on now the great thing about a particle system is you can actually duplicate the particle system so if I go to the particle options come to this arrow duplicate particle systems so if you have nice settings or you're happy with the way things are looking it's a great quick way to basically duplicate uh, as you can see here but it also keeps the density the same weight map so we can change this to weight 2 and oh my god <laughs> yeah weight maps seem to be working pretty good to be honest anyway you know what to do take care